An NFL football player collapsed on the field last month. There was one thing nearby that saved his life, a defibrillator. Tonight, Target 7 investigates how often young athletes collapse due to cardiac arrest and whether that same device is here to hopefully save their life. Here's John Cardinelli. It happens on volleyball courts. Like burning kind of, but like down my arm, down my left arm and in my chest. Lacrosse fields and baseball diamonds. I was about to start my windup and then I felt nothing actually. Across the country, three to four times a week, a young athlete collapses due to cardiac arrest. Here in New Mexico, it's happened twice. And when it does happen, they rely on a device like this, a portable defibrillator, also known as an AED, to help bring them back to life. The entire world saw it unfold on Monday Night Football when Buffalo Bill safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field and was saved by a defibrillator. The first words I said after he went down, within 10 seconds, I yelled up to my wife and I said, I think an NFL player just died on the field. What we learned from that event and what people in the public learned is that CPR works, AEDs work, and AEDs save lives. But a Target 7 investigation has uncovered that New Mexico has some of the weakest laws and rules in the country when it comes to requiring AEDs. I find it abysmal that your state does not have a policy that requires an AED to be on site at practices and games. Um, there's 16 states in America that do have that currently as a requirement, and it's growing literally each month, thankfully. Douglas Casa runs the Corey Stringer Institute, named after the last NFL player to die on the field. The national organization tracks sports safety laws throughout the country and says if an AED gets to an athlete within three minutes, they survive 90 percent of the time. The New Mexico Activities Association sets rules that govern high school sports in New Mexico. They declined an on-camera interview. They told us in emails that because of rules requiring schools hosting playoff games to have AEDs, about 97% of its members have them. So our Target 7 team wanted to hit up as many games as possible to see if they had AEDs. During our investigation, we went to eight basketball games. At Cleveland, Del Norte, Sandia, and Highland High Schools, we found well-marked AEDs, and the staff knew exactly where they were. Right there. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is there an AED around here? Yeah. Is it just on the wall over there? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Oh, sure. At Bernalillo High, we found a sign claiming it was behind a shut door. Right there. It's probably in the training room. When we went to Volcano Vista, we couldn't find one, so we asked the athletic trainer. Is there an AED here in the gym somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, where is it at? It's right there. Just in the backpack? I take it everywhere I go. But this is what we found at Albuquerque High. You could see right here they have an AED box with no AED inside. One woman told us they removed them from the school in 2020. They took that thing on their wall during COVID. And many places we went to, the staff didn't know what an AED was. We're just looking to see where the AED's at. Oh, the AED? AED. No, like uh, the device that can bring someone's heart back. Apply pads to bare skin exactly as shown in the pictures. This is how an AED works, and anyone who knows what one is can use it. Everyone clear. Do not touch patient. Delivering shock. Shock delivered. I would say that AEDs are underdeployed, really, not just in New Mexico, but nationally. Lawrence Sabin and his company One Stop Shop AED is based here in New Mexico, and he warns just because a school or business has an AED doesn't mean everyone is protected. The electrodes that are actually on the AED, look when those expired. 2019. Yeah. And then this expires 2020. Yeah. And Sabin so, says, along with having and maintaining AEDs, preparing to like use them is key. With kids in, uh, in sports, uh, it's one of the first things that, you know, I'll ask an organization is, where are your AEDs? How many do you have? And uh, can they be accessed by the public? Can they be accessed by, um, by your staff? For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. The NMAA tells us they recently provided about 50 schools AEDs requiring them for state playoff games. As for Albuquerque High, APS tells us the devices were moved because they were too old. They said every APS trainer is required to have them at all high school events.